Conor McGregor's, you know, probably your best known trained fighter that you've I don't think been. probably. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um and uh and uh and I often I marvel at the dude and um and he's you know he hasn't done so well in the last a uh, few few outings. But he always seems to be cool and relaxed and chilled and happy and uh totally fucking resilient. Yeah. Uh, you know, one of my prouder moments, and it was a loss, was his first loss to Nate. And that was his first loss in the UFC. You know, he'd had, he'd had, had his losses before that, outside the UFC. And it was just how he held himself in that press conference. Because I remember when the, the staff come in, and we're all backstage, you know, and you're, you're devastated. Uh, it's, it's literally like it's 11 p.m. or 11.30 p.m. And the, the lady shyly come in and said, so there's a press conference, but you don't have to show up. And he's like, of course I'm going to show up. I go to every one when I win. Better believe I'll be there with the one I lose. And he sat there and was chest out and his shoulders back. And he said, yeah, I've lost before. Plenty of times. He came from amateur boxing. And you know what amateur boxing, you're doing it every other week. And sometimes your hand goes up, sometimes it doesn't. Certainly in the gym, thousands of losses in the gym. How many times you have to tap out before you get to a high level in grappling? Tens of thousands, millions. And he had lost an MMA outside of the UFC. So for him... I think everybody was, was expecting him to fall apart, but, and it didn't happen overnight. Like I said, that was a 15 year journey with him being continuously subjected to losses in a smaller er, in a smaller world that was not so much that would break somebody, but that would stress them. It has to be stressful. It has to be uncomfortable or else there's no adaptation. Same as weight training, for example. So I, I loved how he held himself after that. And, and the last couple of fights, I mean, in particular, the last one, the Poirier fight, I thought that fight was going great, you know, and, and I have to look at the training camp and the lead up to it. I will always uh, praise effort over reward. And the effort put in was incredible. Uh, sorry, effort over result. Because the result is somewhat a little bit out of our hands. MMA and, and boxing are amazing sports that, you know, the smallest of error, it's, it's over. Aldo did an amazing training camp, I've no doubt. Very dedicated fighter. 10 years undefeated featherweight champion. And 12 seconds later, he's unconscious when he fought Connor. Is, did his coach do a terrible job? Did Aldo not commit himself to the training? Um, 100%. I know they did. I know they put everything in. That was a year long training camp for those guys because it got cancelled a few times. So for a year, the whole life was on hold for this. Goes out unconscious in seconds. You know, field sports, you make a mistake, you might give away a try, but you got 80 minutes to get it back. In errors, it's. Uh, See you next time, son, you know, and that could be six months before you get another run out. If at all. If at all, right? So the training camp went great. The, I believe the plan was good for that fight. Uh, the standard portion of it was going air away. Take my biased, subjective opinion. Just look at the numbers. Two to one in air favor and in, in significant strikes. And when Connor's land, outlanding you two to one with significant strikes, that's just a matter of time before you're unconscious. Now, jumped on the guillotine, pulled the guard. Not quite part of the game plan. Shit happens, five round fight. Um, defended himself well off his back, stood back up. And then who knows exactly what happened with the shin, whether he cut his elbow, whether he cut his knee, whether a little bit of uh, stress on it in the lead up to the fight. Whatever happened, Vegas, we rolled the dice, foot broke, fight's over. But come on, th th for me, that's a result that's a little bit out of your control. But the effort that went in in the lead up, uh, the improvements that were made, all of those things were a, a great. Uh, in, in, in it, I, I think a great, a little show of what, what he's like, that the ability to come back from a loss, the ability to deal with the pressures, the ability to deal with a tough training camp and then go out, give it his best shot, then go his way. Hey, life carries on, you know? And he's sweet. 